Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Qt World Summit 2019. My name is Juha Varelius, and I'm CEO of the Qt company. Pretty amazing dance show, huh? I was supposed <laughs> I was, <clears throat> I was supposed to be part of it, but they, they lost my consume, costume, can you believe it? The uh, very warm welcome over here. We have again a uh, great summit ahead of us. We have the uh, over 40 nationalities. We have over 80 presentations set up for you. And at this time, I'd like to uh, say a very big thank you for all the organizers and the, uh, the speakers, and specifically for our sponsors for making all this possible. I'm sure this is going to be the, uh, one of the biggest and greatest events so far we've had. As many of you know, Qt has actually been around for uh, 24 years. That's a, uh, that's a pretty long time in life and it's very long time in technology. <clears throat> many bubbles have been blown, and many bubbles have been burst, and blown again, and burst again. And what has Qt done? Well, Qt has evolved, grown, adapted, and been able to grow this uh, feature-filled, great technology and ecosystem that everybody loves. The, uh, over a million individual developers, the number is actually way over a million. It, the it, it, uh, very talented, passionate people around Qt and its ecosystem. I'm now going to officially be opening the Qt World Summit 2019, and I'm very excited about it. Are you? Well, we wouldn't be here without a uh, very great partners we have in this ecosystem. And the, uh, as a matter of fact, they are, we are all needed to build this uh, great business and great ecosystem, great uh, community around Qt and have all these users. And at this moment, uh, and this point of time, I would like to uh, celebrate together with you one of our partners that's been actually around for a, uh, many, many years, as a matter of fact, is now turning 20, i.e. is no longer a teenager anymore. And the, uh, well, visually, you have different partners over there on the logos, but can you guess who is turning 20 this year? KDAP. Let's give a, a great round of applause for KDAP. And congratulations, Kalle. Yeah, so I, uh, my name is Kalle Dahlheimer. I'm the founder, president, CEO, and general stage clown of KDAP. And, uh, well, I'm here to tell you a little bit of uh, what we have prepared for you for our 20 years. <coughs> so 20 years, wow, that's about... 70 or exactly 17 marathons run, 1.86 tons of ice cream consumed, and the occasional line of code written. Well, 35 million to be exact. And, but of course you're asking yourself, what's in it for me? Well, what's in it for you is that we have a challenge for you, and if you complete the challenge, you can win some awesome prizes. You can win a machine to brew your own beer. How awesome is that? Um, a similar model to that is actually visible at our booth, and you can win two digital tablets. And all you need to do in order to be eligible to win is solve the KDAP 20 years developer challenge. And the question is, given that we are turning 20, which year was KDAP founded? And in order to make this easy for you, we're already giving you three digits. I can see some brains hard at work now. But I can also see a few who think, well, this, this is really hard, but I really want to, want to win one of those prizes. So um, can you maybe give us a hint? So we have a Wheel of Fortune for that. <laughs> Let's spin the Wheel of Fortune. Now, seriously, if you go to 
that link, you'll find some actual programming challenges. And if you solve these, upload them to the website. And if you solve them correctly, then you'll be eligible to win. And the only other announcement that I have before I pass the microphone back to you are, is that we'll have our birthday party tonight. And there will be, you guessed it, beer. So. Yeah, I, I knew that would draw an applause. <laughs> so find me tonight at 5.30 and I'll pour you a cold one. We have other Cadabians too who will pour beer, but for them the challenge will be whether they uh, pour more than they consume themselves. So, <clears throat> so join us for the party tonight at 5.30. Thank you, Yua. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to have partners like KDAP. I hear that there's going to be more beer per person than in Oktoberfest. <laughs> so the, uh, I hope that you all will make it. <clears throat> so the, um, not so long ago, I took a, uh, I took a trip from the uh, Helsinki to Seoul to meet some of our customers and partners over there. And uh, I met the uh, LG WebOS people, for example. As you know, we're collaborating pretty tightly uh, with Qt on WebOS, and the uh, LG is having a keynote, keynote here later. The, uh, on my way over there, I started counting that the, uh, how many times I actually touch devices that have software in it, and or I'm using some sort of an application. And the, uh, as you can imagine, it, it was the uh, quite large number of, of the uh, devices starting from smart snoozers and, and whatnot, and in-flight entertainment, and the uh, on and on and on. As a matter of fact, many companies nowadays, they've outsourced their customer service to a, an automated service that the, uh, you have some sort of a interface there using it. And the, uh, well, what was the outcome of that experience was that, well, <clears throat> actually many of the devices I was using had software in it and many of the uh, user experiences, some were very good and some were very bad. And some were in between, obviously. And, and what's the learning of all this? Well, the matter of fact is that software is nowadays determining, determining the value of a uh, service or product more and more. It, software is becoming involved in all these devices and it's really, really important for the uh, customer experience to have the best possible user interfaces there is. The other learning from there is, of, of course, is that the, uh, as the software is getting everywhere, more and more services need to be used by multiple devices at the same time. So there is a need for cross-platform tools. And the third learning from that is that as we go along, the uh, <clears throat> This is only going to explode. We're taking the first baby steps as we speak. And, and 10 years from now, when we look back, the number of devices have exploded. The new, uh, new user interfaces, new applications had to be built. And there are not not enough developers to do that. We need tools like and frameworks like Acute that can enhance the uh, productivity of the developers. Otherwise, that won't be available, which means that this is only the beginning. We're going to have a, a great future ahead of us. I see a lots and lots of more innovation and work to be done. So what have we been doing in uh, 2019? Well, many of you know that our business itself has been doing great. We got nominated on a couple awards from Cisco and Fr Frost and Sullivan. We're going to have a uh, next summit in Tokyo in a few weeks where we're going to have speakers like Toyota, Suzuki, Nikon, and Amaron, whatnot. I think it's going to be a, a great event over there. And the, uh, we also introduced Qt for MCUs. I, I'm, I'm sure you're going to be talking a lot about that. I'm personally very excited about the fact that now we can get Qt on smaller footprint, we can get cute on the uh, smaller devices with the uh, less power consumption and less memory. I think it's going to be a, a huge hit as we go forward. We also opened new offices. As the business has been growing, we have uh, 
new offices around. Uh, we opened, I think, India, for example, and the uh, Israel, as we speak, just to uh, name few. And we hired quite a lot of new people. The, uh, we hired salespeople on sale and sales and marketing, but we hired quite a lot of technical people as well on consulting, pre-sales and R&D, which means that the uh, QD is getting stronger than ever. The, uh, you might think that the, uh, you've noticed that the, uh, our team is superheroes, so the, uh, you might be wondering that why is that? Well, we thought the developer challenge ahead of us and what we really want to do as a acute company and acute technology, we want to enable the de developers to be superheroes. We want to enable the developers to be able to develop faster and better, have better things and the uh, better outcomes as when people work with the uh, Qt. We did a uh, research last year and the, uh, we actually found out that the 84% uh, of respondents were saying that they've been able to improve their productivity with the uh, Qt. So from now on, we're not only going to be cute, we're going to be cute superheroes. How about that? So what's coming up? I'm not going to give too much spoilers that the, uh, what you're going to be hearing. Like I said, there are going to be uh, many, many uh, pre presentations to come. Please do go and see our demo section as well. The, uh, there's going to be a lot to talk about Q6, obviously. The, uh, Q6 is coming, and the, uh, our CTO, uh, Chief Maintainer Lars Noll, will talk about that a, a bit later. And the, um, after Tokyo, we're going to have our next summit in Palm Springs in, in early May. We do love Berlin, as you know, but the uh, Palm Springs just now the, uh, sounds pretty attempting. <coughs> the, um, we will continue on our efforts to uh, get the cute technology better. We will, uh, we will invest on our designer developer work, workflow. We're going to be investing on our design tools and, and, and so on and so on. You're going to be hearing more about that later on the, uh, the other presentations. Qt was developed from developers to developers, and I believe that the, uh, that is actually why it is so popular, why so many people love and are passionate about Qt. It's, the, uh, it's been a, a great starting point for developing Qt in the beginning, many, many years back. And having said that, I think that the, uh, what would be a uh, better way than to hand over the microphone to our core developers, uh, Andy and Christian, who are going to be our moderators, to take the show on and get the uh, keynote speeches going. The, uh, at this point, thank you very much for being here. I'm personally very excited about it, and I'm very thankful that you're all here, and we're going to have a, a very great event and very exciting and good times for the uh, next coming two days. And of course, a great party with KDAP. Thank you.